Welcome to another episode of Animated Book Summaries, and today we'll be doing Richard Carlson's Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. By watching this book summary all the way through, you will learn how to think of your problems as potential teachers. Do one thing at a time, share glory with others, learn to trust your intuitions. So let's dive straight into this. His book, Don't Sweat the Small Stuff, and It's All Small Stuff, 1997, was USA Today's best-selling book for two consecutive years. Spent over 101 weeks on the New York Times bestsellers list, it was published in 135 countries and translated into 31 languages. Carlson went on to write 20 more books after this. The book in three sentences, there are no emergencies, just chill out. Stress is an acceptable, even admired form of mental illness. Don't buy into it. Don't skimp on relaxing time. Prioritize it. Key idea number one, choose relaxed over competitive. The author says it's not true that to achieve and get things done, we need to be competitive and stressed out. It is best to approach life with a relaxed and contemplative attitude instead. And you should never lose the ability to relax and take a breather whenever you need one especially after having worked hard. Here are a couple of great ways to enjoy a more relaxed life. Stop living life according to others. Stop trying to please others. Key point number two, let go of your ego. We are all driven by a need to look good and important. When we give in to this craving, we can do things that hurt people around us, like jumping into a mistake or trying to impress those around us. We make a big show to impress, and we also risk hurting our relationship. Much better is instead to take a step back from our own ego. Key point number three, let go of resentment and the need to be right. Sometimes we harbor resentment out of small squabbles or little things someone said or did. When we let that happen, we unwittingly turn small things into big ones. Richard Carlson says that we do it because we tend to see forgiveness as weak and sometimes out of a race as to see who's stronger. We might decide to cut a relationship with a loved one in the hope that they will come back, but maybe they're thinking the exact same thing. Avoid it altogether by keeping small things small and letting go of the need to be right. Key point number four, spread the love. Remind the people you love that you love them and cut some slack to the people who annoy you. Chances are that nobody's actually out to know you, but that you are just having a bad day yourself. Key point number five, your thoughts are reality. Our lives are a reflection of our thoughts, and we can change our thoughts, similar as many self-development authors like Tony Robbins recommend. Richard Carlson recommends that when you're feeling negative, you deliberately change your thoughts to something more positive. The author says that a good way to take control of your mind and thoughts is to spend some time alone, like meditation, yoga, a walk in the park, whatever. Don't Sweat the Small Stuff has some content overlap with the power of now when it encourages the readers to focus on the present and to live in the moment, instead of worrying about what might happen in the future. Key point number six, don't fight against your problems. The author says that a great obstacle to thinking positively is our problems. But more than our problems, it's actually how we approach them. We should not approach problems as if we need to fight against them, but we should approach them as opportunity to learn from. And focus on what you have instead of what is missing. Key point number seven, nothing, and I mean nothing, is an emergency. When you feel stressed out, when you feel you really destroy your chance to achieve X, or when you get fired and everything seems bleak, stop for a second and tell yourself this, nothing is an emergency. And then go do something that makes you happy or get in touch with somebody you love. And the last key point, number eight, prioritize relaxation. The one thing that we too often seem to procrastinate on is relaxing time. Indeed, in my opinion, the highest achievers among us will often feel bad even when relaxing. Thus, they have no relaxing time at all. It's time you start planning some time for yourself without putting it off any further. It might take a while to get used to that relaxing time, but it is an important part of our life. Stick with it and it will eventually become part of who you are. This concludes the summary of Richard Carlson's Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. I put a lot of time and effort into these videos. Please do subscribe and check out the playlist because I have tons of books in there and I'm always uploading new ones. 
Thank you so much and have a great day.